So, you looks like we are live. So, well, here we go. Okay, cool. So, we are currently live. So, um, please uh, let us know when you get here and let us know where you're from and how excited you are about this product launch. We, and what you think it might be. Yes. Be the first before we actually tell you what it is mm -hmm. to come in and say what you think it is um, in regards to that. So, it looks like... Oh, it does? <laughs> oh, never mind. We wrote it in the title, so never mind. Um, in this kind of cool. We wrote it in the title, so don't be the first <laughs> to guess what it is because you already know what it is. We are so excited. Um, so, thank you for joining us. My name is Billy. I'm the Vice President of Green Juju. And this is Kelly. She's the owner and founder of Green Juju. Looks like we have Carol and Beth, some familiar faces, and Matt from Off the Leash in Los Angeles. Um, we are actually here at Global, the Global Pet Expo in uh, Orlando, Florida, and we just have we just launched at noon here um, a very uh, new product that we're very excited about. Um, Kelly, is there anything before we show them and explain what is going on here what, that you'd like to say about the food? I think this is just the perfect evolution of this brand for us because we've always been about helping people start where they're at and add better nutrition to their diet. Um, and so this is just a really easy way to get amazing nutrition into your dog's diet in a really, really um, easy, simple, not intimidating way. Um, and I think there's absolutely nothing like it on the market. One of our uh, distributors told us that they're super excited for it. They don't have anything like it on the market, and I'm really excited. Me too. I think this is this may be the coolest thing that I've ever been involved with making. And I always appreciate, um, you know, the you always let the uh, mad scientist in me operate, and I appreciate that, especially in this um, in this case as well. So we're very excited to show you. Let me make pink packaging. Yes, exactly <laughs> right. So we're going to show you. Um, all of these different varieties and then we're going to show we're going to break down each one and we're going to we're going to that's hilarious um we're going you to just dump it yeah we're going to show you uh what's different about it and then we're going to show you each individual one so kelly if you would do the honors here we can just do that so. ready so we have we can only see three right oh that's me okay we, so we have four and rabbit with deaf liver. Can you do that? There you go. Rabbit with deaf liver. Here we go. I'm always the worst at this. <laughs> we have beef. And we have, for all of you bison fans out there, we have bison as well. Um, so, going into this food, uh, the first thing that we are going to talk about is what makes it different. Because obviously, you've seen freeze dried food before. Yeah, that's true. So the first thing is each one of these ingredients, so these are complete and balanced for both dogs and cats. So one food, um, two species. So we're really, really proud of that. So if you have, say, a small dog and a cat, um, this is going to be, this can be a really great option for you. The second thing is this is extremely limited. So as far as allergens are concerned, each one is only, this is a better one to show actually. <laughs> um, so as far as the ingredient panel goes, um, oh, it's gonna be backwards I, yeah, for you guys anyways. Yeah. So I'll, I can, this by now. <laughs> I can explain it. So as far as the allergens go in this food or things you could be particular. So basically when you break down a nutrient panel, any dog or cat could be allergic to basically anything. And so this beef food or this bison or this pork is only three ingredients from an allergy perspective and the, uh, rabbit and uh, duck liver is only four and so it's extremely limited but there's no synthetic vitamins that contribute to the actual um, vitamins in the formulation so all of the vitamins are actually coming from food themselves so if you look at say our beef this is a great example of that uh, the ingredient panel in this product let me just read it so I know here, is beef heart, beef liver, beef kidney, beef bone, organic kale, organic kelp, and 
vitamin E supplement for as a preservative. So it's the same non-GMO mixed tocopherols that come in our food. So how are we able to make a completely food-based freeze-dried raw diet while having such a limited ingredient profile? So the, the first thing we do is we replaced the heart, or we replaced, I'm sorry, the muscle meat, muscle meat with, heart. with heart. So heart has better vitamin and mineral profile. It has double the collagen. It's great for like feeding like. So we replaced the muscle meat with heart. And then we are actually using more kidney and liver than any other brand. So it's a very organ dense food. Um, and that's how we're able to hit all of these nutritional profiles with such a limited ingredient profile. And so it, if you're looking at the bison, um, it's the same uh, kind of recipe. And then each one of those also has a dark leafy green for fiber, uh, also obviously antioxidants, and obviously um, uh, so, oh, vitamin K1. And then it also has kelp, again, for antioxidants and additional fiber. And then also iodine. I don't know what that noise is. It's really cool though. Oh, I think it's a, a uh, there's a coffee machine going off in the background, so. They are all fish oil free, so the ingredients that Billy read off is literally all there is. So, beef heart, beef liver, beef kidney, beef bone, organic kale, organic kelp, and vitamin E supplement. And the really great thing about that, we don't need to add fish oil because of the fact that all of our proteins are sourced correctly. So if you look at our beef and our bison, this is grass-fed beef. So it has a three to one and four to one omega uh, six to three ratio. So they're all within the healthy ratio and we don't need to do that. So we also formulated this. Ironically, we are green juju and this has very little plants in it. Yes. That one's harder to see on camera. So we formulated this uh, with less plants and the reason we did that is because we wanted to make very limited ingredient whole food based uh, diets that are complete and balanced and then you can also customize with any of our other products so if your dog does better with the golden blend then maybe Bailey's blend or you like to use a specific one of the fermented paste you can then customize it you don't need to do that but you can do that um, we we obviously recommend adding a plop of our uh, war measurement of our, I was being nice to you there, and <laughs> of, say, you know, one of our blends or something like that. Um, yeah, so there's the food. We just, uh, staff was wondering what the food looks like. Um, and, and also for rehydration, it's really interesting because because this is so nutrient dense and, and so organ dense and, and has a little amount of plants, when you rehydrate it, it actually keeps its form. It doesn't necessarily break apart. Um, and so... I think that's really neat for my own, you know, my dog Huckleberry, he can still hunt around for it sort of on his platter um, and sort of work in that way. So um, we are super excited. The other thing that fits really well with is um, when you look at Green Juju, we're known for short ingredient panels that everything is very clean. And that's exactly what we did with this food. It's just foods. You don't have to put a million ingredients in something to make it complete and balanced. You don't have to put a million ingredients, you know, a small amount of everything. You can just do the things that you need to meet these uh, nutrient profiles. So we're super excited. Somebody asked if it's HPP. It is HPP. I would highly recommend going back on our feed or to our YouTube channel to check out the video we did on HPP and why um, the food is still raw from an enzyme perspective, from a um, digestibility perspective, from a bacteria perspective. Um, we did a lot of relearning, me and Kelly, when it comes to the science behind that. Um, so Laura says, should it be rehydrated before feeding? And yes, it should. Um, whatever your current system is, if you're using freeze-dried food, is going to work for this as well. Um, so you want to answer the question about the, uh... So, uh, it will be shipping... The order for the Tacoma Fife Warehouse shipped yesterday and will arrive on Friday. Um, and then most of the other warehouses will ship next Friday. So within... Starting yesterday into the next two weeks, they'll be shipping. Yeah, so it's not like we're announcing this and then you have to wait a really long time. These are basically going to be available now or in the next few weeks. So um, we're super excited. We've actually been working on this since um, 
what, last, last fall-ish? And if, for any of you who've ever been to my Instagram, I have not been able to post pictures of my dog's food because he's been on this since December and it's been a secret. Um, and he absolutely loves this food. Um, oh. Yes, to answer Beth's question, yes, they do all have liver. So um, they all have the named animal and or... What are we doing here? Oh, okay. So... It's good. Um, so, and obviously it's duck liver in the rabbit formula, which is rabbit with duck liver. Um, I wanted to read some of the Oh, okay. Things. Kelly's going to read you some testimonials because uh, that's an important thing to mention as well. We have had about, was it 56 dogs? 57. 57 dogs that were on this food for at least a month. Um, and we definitely got some valuable data back from that as well. Um, to be able to do that. So why don't you go ahead with some of the testimonials. All right, I'm gonna tell you a few of the highlights. Um, so one of our distributors got a chance to try it. He said, your new freeze-dried food is amazing. It just looks like real food and nothing like it on the market. I know it will be a big success. Thank you to him. Um, my dog's skin and ears improved more than I've seen since we've had him, said Holly. Uh, Big has become more energetic and gained a calmer mood as well. Her digestion has improved tremendously. I would say that it's worth the investment and has been a game changer for our little pig. She absolutely loves the taste and we've seen nothing but improvements in all categories of life. Uh, races to his bowl with every meal. Enjoyed eating before, but this is a whole other level. Uh, the longer I feed this food, the more I love it. It's so easy to feed and less messy than frozen raw. And this all this really hits home for me because this was a big um, this was a big motivating factor in doing this. But thank you so much for making a product for those suffering from allergies. It's really hard to find a food that my pup can eat. I'm excited that I can keep this in this rotation from Natalie. Um, and that really kind of is why I was so excited about doing this is because I've been that person that has always gone into pet stores and not been able to find food for my dog. It's always the fish oil or some random ingredient that throws something off and I know I can't do. So I have always been on the search for the most simple ingredients and um, it's been hard to find. So I'm really excited to be offering this for all the sensitive dogs out there and just as a great base for dogs that um, are able to tolerate other things and rotate through different products and get greater nutrition profiles. Um, getting a few questions about puppies, it's complete imbalance for all life stages. So puppies, old dogs, seniors, we had a good cross section, I think both in sizes and also um, uh, breeds, age, everything like that. Um, and also uh, somebody asked about the sizing, so uh, we're starting here in 14 ounce uh, bags. And um, we had some questions about Frozen. That is a possibility for the future, but this is a great start. And in why I think that that's um, important is we love giving people baby steps here at Green Juju in terms of how do we get people who feed processed food to add more um, ingredients that are going to be less processed. Like a, a, a really good way for me to sum this up personally, like from my own perspective, is one of the reasons I wanted to work for you is because I want to push the nutritional boundaries for real people. And that's a really important thing to me. I want to make things that are approachable and that people understand. And so for this to be in the form that it's in, in terms of being freeze dried and, you know, looking the way it looks. And also for those of you that are, you know, I, I, it's fresh in my mind because last week I was at a workshop conference for both uh, HPP and also for freeze drying. And I would like to point out too that when it comes to frozen versus, H uh, frozen versus uh, freeze dried and things like that, one of the interesting things I looked at data wise was that if you actually send a, a frozen formula to a lab and then send the freeze dried version, there is basically no degradation of the nutrients. It's essentially the exact same nutrient profile. So we think this is a really convenient way to get more of this raw, unprocessed food into uh, dogs and cats' bowls. So, yeah. um, somebody asked about the fat and protein percent. I'm not sure which which protein. Oh, okay. About, well, but I can elaborate on this. So, 
Um, all of this, is it on our website now? It will be, like, by the end of the day. Okay, so this will all be on our website by the end of the day. So, basically, um, the fat to... I'll give you an example, and then I'll sort of elaborate on it. So, this is, by the way, in uh, dry matter. This is not... Um, so, it's different than comparing it to frozen food. But, so, for the bison, you have 53.5% crude protein and 32 0.2% crude fat. And what that means from a practical perspective is that she's letting someone in the door. So what that means from a uh, practical perspective is that this is essentially a one-to-one -one fat to protein ratio and you're getting slightly more calories from fat than you are from protein, which is exactly where we wanted this to be. And that is true of both of the bison, of the beef, and of the pork. So if you're rotating between these, you won't have to feed a different amount because they're the same to fat to protein ratio. And also the rabbit is going to be less than that because rabbit is just naturally lower in fat, but you could add. Lost your sound. Can you guys hear us? Let us know if you can hear us. We don't know if there's an issue here. Um, sound back. Sound right. back, okay, cool. So, um, so, all three of those will be a one-to-one -one fat to protein ratio. The rabbit and the duck liver will be in um, a little bit lower in fat. Um, and so, because we wanted the natural ratio of the animals themselves. Um, so, and you'll be able to find all that information on our website as well. Um, so yeah. Is there anything else we want to... I think I saw something about me. People asked about the proteins. Um, you can hold them up again if you want. But we have bison. Grass-fed bison. We have pasture uh, pork, and humanely raised rabbit with duck liver. Our rabbit comes from Europe. Our ducks Maybe. come from California. Yes, and uh, grass-fed beef. So those are the proteins. Another cool thing is you don't have to take our word for it that these things are raised correctly because we're not adding any. Uh, partly for allergies, but we're not adding any uh, omega-3 supplements or fish oil or anything like that. And you can look at, say, our grass-fed beef and our grass-fed um, bison, and it's we know, because we did the uh, fatty acid testing on it, we know that the bison is a 1 to 3, omega-3 six, uh, three to 6 ratio, and the um, beef is a 1 to 4. Those are grass-fed ratios just generally, and they're not an inflammatory diet. So you don't even have to take our word for the sourcing because we're not adding something to this to bring up the omega-3s and they all fit within a healthy range. And that will be on the nutrition sheets on the website. Yep. Uh, Rachel said, this would be great to help people switch from kibble onto a healthy diet. Y'all are awesome. That is exactly the goal, is that this is in a very similar format to kibble. All you have to do is add water. Um, a lot of the dogs that were in the trial that we did were formerly feeding kibble and had no problems digestively or otherwise um, moving on to this diet. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's that's a great thing. And I can't go any further. So I think that about sums it up. So I tell you guys what, um, you can check us out on our website. If you want to rewatch this, we will have it um, on our YouTube either tonight or at the very latest tomorrow morning. Um, so we are so excited to not only um, uh, available in Canada, yes, it will be. I'm not, not sure exactly when, but it will be. Um, so we, I always end these things, and I truly mean it, by saying thank you so much for trusting us with your pet's health. And we really, this is the reason why we do this, is to help dogs and cats and to be a part of your animal's lives and to be a part of your life. And I think this is the perfect way to be able to be more a part of your, your dog or cat's life. And, and we appreciate you guys wanting to be here and be excited about this. Thank you so much for trusting us with your pups, and we hope that you absolutely love this as much as we do. Billy and I were formerly raw feeders and have converted to exclusively freeze-dried. Um, our dogs love it so much, so can't wait to hear what you guys think. Absolutely. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and everybody have a good rest of the day. <laughs>